and here we have the system. It's now oh, just 17 miles from Port Fouchon. It's moving northwest at 14 miles per hour. So you know what's happening. Right here we've got a rain band that's moving into Grand Isle, so I know the water has gone up there. With the eye wall, you're going to have the water going up at Port Fouchon and also at Grand Isle. We're seeing this at Plaquemines Parish. Rain bands, y'all were talking about, oh, it's all the way over towards Mobile. It's all the way over towards Pensacola. So there is Hurricane Ida, and I'm going to take a moment just to look back. Here is Laura. Last year, the max winds were 150 miles per hour. We had the last island hurricane of 150 miles per hour, but we have this hurricane, which is 155 miles per hour. Here is a look at Katrina. It made landfall with 125 mile per hour winds. The big problem with Katrina is that it was a Cat 5, that it was a very large hurricane, and that it had winds of 175 miles per hour at one point. So that is the difference between Katrina and what we're looking at right now. This is an intensifying hurricane as it moves towards the coast. Katrina was a hurricane that was diminishing, if you can call it that, but it was a very large hurricane. This is a large one too. So it's gonna cause a whole lot of storm surge and that's our problem. Also the concern that we're going to have tornadoes. So we're just gonna take you through this. This is the forecast track and we're gonna get an update in in just a moment. Reconnaissance has been in there and they actually found higher winds on the order of a Cat 5. So it is following exactly as the Hurricane Center had forecast, 155 mile per hour winds moving north Northwest at 14, making landfall very close to Port Fouchon. I mean, we see it, it's just off the coast and then moving northward. And even early in the morning tomorrow, an 80 mile per hour hurricane uh, kind of close to Baton Rouge. So storm surge, we know that it's happening. The water is going up and it is gonna go up fast. You know, I can remember last year, I think it was with Zeta, someone lost their life over in Biloxi because they got caught in their car in the water. The water is going up. Get away from the coast. The Mississippi coast, the North Shore, move away. And of course, all along the coast of Louisiana. We can look at the forecast storm surge. You're seeing a whole lot of red. OK, this white is the levee protection system and it is a risk reduction system. So we're going to have to watch this. I can remember in um, at the hurricane conference in 2005 before Katrina, we were talking about what happened with Ivan and the loss of the Pensacola Bay Bridge. And they said, it's weight that holds it down. And of course, what happened, the water came up and took the bridge off. And I went at the hurricane conference, can that happen in New Orleans? Is that how our bridges are made? And you could see all of the emergency managers in the room going, uh-oh. And indeed, that's what happened in Katrina. Since then, the Slidell Twin bri Bridge has been raised, so we're good. The causeway has been fortified. But that's something you always worry about. Now, in the lake during Katrina, we had a 10 to 14 foot surge. This is not forecast, but I would expect a nine foot surge in the lake. So, you know, get ready. The causeway is getting ready to close. My concern too, right over here on the western portion, you know, the river parishes, it is always a concern because they don't have that levee protection. So as it moves up, all of this water is moving into the lake and you are gonna have water three to nine feet at least. All right, here it is. I mean, it's coming on shore, right? It's just there. And look, Air Force Reconnaissance was in. 160 mile per hour winds is what they found. We're looking at uh, the buoy data and you can see just that outer band, you had winds of about 60 
miles per hour. This will pop up 30 foot seas. I couldn't get this one just offshore. Katrina had 50 foot seas. So we've got some major seas going. That's just the sea. That's not the rise. I feel like my cross is hitting the mic. Hold on. Let me put it in my dress. So here it is moving our way. Uh, seas have come down a little bit, but that water is all moving in. So you're going to get the water rise, then you're going to get the big waves. They become the battering rams to knock down homes. So big concerns right down here at Grand Isle. I just wanted to show you the visible. All right, now let's zoom in. There's the eye. Look at all of the lightning. So that lightning is an indicator that, gee, it could be getting stronger. Okay. Uh, there is the northern eye wall just moving into Plaquemines Parish, moving into Grand Isle and Lafourche, Port Fouchon. So what's going to happen, it's moving northwest. So you are going to get a push into Terrebonne Bay. But look, on this west side, you've got a north wind. So you're actually going to have water pushing away. Here's the eye. We're zooming in and look, I mean, with that rain band right there, you had a rise of water. Very strong winds right there. I think we're getting the update in. Yep, there it is. Still 150 mile per hour winds. The pressure, 933 millibars. So that pressure is coming down. Moving northwest at 13, it has slowed down just a little bit. And you don't want it to slow down. Man, you want it to get out of town. So all along this eye wall, look at how it has been stronger on the south side. We saw that yesterday. Stronger on the south side, seeing that now. So you're going to get the bad, and then you're going to get the worse. Um, what I remember, you know, I've been in a couple of eyes. I was in Zeta, but Betsy was the one. And so we're looking at this. I remember my ears popping with Katrina before it made landfall. My ears aren't popping. That's good. But that pressure definitely dropping. I think Katrina got down to 902 millibars. But that's when it was at its strongest, 175 miles per hour. So there we are. We're looking at the eye. And I've put it in 3D so that you can get an idea of the higher cloud tops. And certainly it's the south side that's looking like the worst side. So this is incoming, this is outgoing. And it gives you an idea of, yeah, the water may start to come down a bit, but you've got this forward push. So you've got that rise in water and look, it's really going up over in Plaquemines Parish. So there it is just offshore. I'm gonna go and look at our storm tracker in just a second. You know, of course, <laughs> we've got a flash flood watch. It's the rain is going to come down. Uh, high risk of excessive rainfall, moderate risk tomorrow, and then even on Tuesday. That's with the tail because it's going to move up to the northeast and we'll get the tail of this system. And then we can look and see this is, uh, so that's 15 inches of rain. That bright yellow could be over it. And that's right over the metro into the river parishes, St. Bernard, Plaquemines, Jefferson, Lafourche, Terrebonne. We are going to lose power. There is a look as it moves to the northwest. So I don't know how you are without AC. Uh, and then the tornado watch, because on the right side of a landfalling system, and I know uh, Lee Southwick, Damon Singleton have been on with tornado warnings, we're probably going to have more of those. So, large and dangerous hurricane. There it is. Main concern, catastrophic storm, storm surge. River parishes, my big concern in the river parishes, storm surge. On the North Shore, it's going to be storm surge. And there, oh, let me tell you, the rivers are going up. You're going to be at major flood. All right, I want to just come back to our storm tracker for just a moment, okay? Here we are, we're looking. I want to zoom in, bring you in street level. Let me get rid of this and look. Major rain band right there at Leeville, Grand Isle. You've got the wind blowing. Port Fouchon, you are almost in the eye. You see that eye is moving in. We're going to be moving um, 
No, no, there it is. It's just to the south. Let's come down a bit. Lockport, you've got very heavy rain. Valentine La Rose, you're kind of light right now. Just seeing by you gosh, you've got a lot of rain. In the metro, we have got this pretty heavy rain coming down. Yeah, look at this. You see, wind is blowing right now. The rain is coming down. That's in the metro. Mid-city, you've got heavy rain right now. The fairgrounds, lower nine, Gentilly. So you can see Longview, Holly Grove. The oops, I need to put that up. You can see all of this heavy rain, fairgrounds, Pine Village. Let's just go up to the North Shore for a moment. Oh, wait, look. <laughs> you do not want to be driving across the Bonnie Carey Spillway right now. That's very, and it's moving fast, folks. It is moving fast. Let's go to the North Shore now. Over here in Bogalusa, you've got a little bit of a rain band. Same thing for Poplarville. Oh, this is heavier. I know I have friends who evacuated to Hattiesburg. You're getting some of that rain right now. Um, let's go to South. Oh, look, Pascagoula, you've got it. Wait, I want to show you this. Bay St. Louis. So you're about to get the heavy rain. This is a rain band and your water is going to go up as soon as that moves in. So I just wanted to kind of take you street by street and show you what's going on. We're gonna zoom in just a moment. I wanna see how far away the eye wall is. So this is Grand Isle. It's about 20 miles away. And from Port Fouchon, Kind of hard to see. Let's do that. It's about 21 miles away if you just go like so. Get ready. The weather's going downhill. And I look at this storm, which is also a hurricane. We use them interchangeably. But, um, you know, it's, it's shades of 16 years ago. Again, the difference is it's not as large. It was much larger and stronger earlier with Katrina, which is why it created that 28-foot storm surge over in past Christian. Every hurricane is different, but I can tell you this one's bad, and it's going to have major impacts on us. Margaret, thank you very much.